the video uh, they showed last night of uh, the metal. Yeah. One guy goes in. It's already rusting. You know salt That's water. Salt water. You just oh, touch boy. something with salt oh, water hands, and it yeah. starts turning to rust. Oh, boy. It doesn't wait. Salt water sucks. Salt water oh, sucks. Fucking big, dumb, worthless ocean. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a giant pussy with, with, with saran wrap over it. <laughs> I know. It's just... I'd like to take the ocean and scoop it off the earth and throw it into space. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Fucking worth. What does it do? It makes it hard to travel. A bunch of sharks. <laughs> ocean stinks. I love the ocean. Yeah, have it in your living room. Don't we'll see how much you like it. <laughs> but it sucks. It's all salt. Fucking you, you, people are, d are dying of, of drinking of fucking lack of water on the ocean. You know how awful it is to look in the ocean. And go, I can't drink you, can I? The ocean goes, No, you can't. We set it up that way. Fucking cunt. It just taunts you. It taunts you. It, it just really taunts is you. a cock tease. Nah, 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 nah. It's a cock tease. You can't drink me, and if you do, you'll get really sick. What yeah. a great place to go when you're and, thirsty. And why haven't human <laughs> beings ocean. figured out, like, why haven't our bodies, like, uh, gotten to a point where we can just yeah. drink it? Let's yeah. filter it out. What is our human bodies waiting for? Come on. Even the we, fucking fish don't drink it. We're constantly adjusting. We can't adjust to drink salt water Come yet. On, salt What's water. What's that about? How handy would it be if people could drink salt water? I'm thirsty. Let's go to Sandy Hook and just drink for hours. <laughs> just hook up a little cup. It goes right into your cup. It's convenient. But you gotta just sit there and stare at yeah, it. Yeah, the earth giveth. <laughs> yeah. Not at all. And the ocean's then, a fucking And your douche. body knows immediately. <laughs> your, body, your body knows immediately you can't drink it. Oh, you it. can't drink yeah. it. Uh, immediately. Your throat swells says, up. Nope, your nope. kidneys fail. Nope. It's yeah. just awfulness. It's terrible. You're not supposed to get water in your mouth and go... <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know the ocean's a fucking bag of shit. When any of it gets in your mouth, instead of feeling quenched and refreshed, you go. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's in salt water that makes the body reject it so violently? Salt, salt yeah. But, a lot of but, salt. But, I want to put my ocean over, the, over my steak. Just salt? Yeah. That's all it's it is. Terrible. It's, it's salt. That's all it is. Your yeah. body just knows, like, Fuck. this isn't supposed to go in me. Everyone should just go to the shore and just kick the ocean right in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> or just pick up scoops and throw it towards space. Let's all just give it the finger and make it feel bad. <laughs> Slowly scoop the ocean into space, one fucking space shuttle at a time. <laughs> and then they'll figure it out and go, all right, we'll, all right, we'll let you drink some of us. Yeah, when the uh, ocean all drops. Right, all right, we get it. I would love that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's one of our, ocean. That's certainly uh, one of our great. enemies, right? Yeah. Salt water is one of our enemies. The fucking Why ocean. would we allow it to exist? It's just all right there. Just can't use it. Just, yeah. Just soak it up. We ought to slowly take sand and just cover the ocean and right. show it who's boss. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> Fucking before you know it, we're looking over at British people shoveling sand. We're like, see, that was easy. Right. Let's build a highway. Just close it like it's a pool. <laughs> close it, exactly. Cement the fucking faggot ocean. Tired of it. Mocking us. <laughs> Man, I like to go in the water. Sit in the tub, asshole. <laughs> Fuck you and fuck the water. Uh, too good. Bunch of displaced fish. Good, let them deal with it. The fish have had 70 million years, and they've done nothing with the ocean. <laughs> it's exactly the same as when they got it. <laughs> Fucking worthless edible monsters. Well, fish stinks. <laughs> fish stink. They're terrible. Every day, the seniors who live in the Chippington Towers do high-rise grab their chairs, sit outside, and chat. But all they can talk about lately are... I got it. I got it. It's diapers. Because <laughs> they're seniors. And one hit me in the eye. Wait. Oh, the, the seniors part is key. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let it play. Let, 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 let it play. Start it over? No, just let it play. From I there. think it's play. Oh, yeah, just start it over. Start it over. Start over. I get scared. All right, here we go. Seniors. Mm -hmm. Every day, the seniors who live in the Chippington Towers 2 high-rise grab their chairs, sit outside, and chat. But all they can talk about lately are... Got it. I'm scared to death. Got it. Got it. Wow, wow, wow. Coffins. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's say hi to Jim O'Connor joining our show today. Jim? Yeah. Mr. O'Connor, if you will, how are you? I'm just fine. How are you doing? Welcome aboard, Jim. Thanks for uh, calling our show. So uh, uh, your your book got our attention today. Yeah, well, yeah, it, it amuses people for one thing. You actually uh, came down to New York and you were in the subways, kind of like uh, giving people a lesson on uh, cursing. Well, I was just down there uh, trying to get an example of uh, what causes all the cursing. It's pretty hectic down there. 
Pretty hectic indeed, my friend. Yeah. Indeed. And uh, so what what actually is the, the purpose of replacing these uh, curse words with the words that you suggest? Well, it's not really so much replacing the words. It's learning to cope with the situation uh, because when you get angry and swear, it doesn't really accomplish much. Mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm, so uh, mm-hmm. if you use other words that are... Well, Jim, uh, a lot of people would disagree with you. I think it accomplishes a lot. It gets uh, a little a little stress out. Makes you feel a little better inside that you could actually react to the situation. It does. It's sort of a defensive thing. It's a uh, you know your ego is hurt when someone bumps into you and you don't swear back. But and I think it adds more stress to the whole environment because if you're someone else and you hear two people yelling and swearing at each other, it adds to your stress. Oh. You just deal with it and accept you know the guy didn't intend to bump into me. He was just in a hurry and it just happens. It's uh, it's chaotic and then this this goes on. Well, uh, and you, you've uh, suggested replacement words. Uh, the first one for the S word, yeah, saying shoot in New York City, that could uh, get you in a lot of trouble. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. oh good you. gosh. I wasn't sure you had a sense of humor. I was a little worried to use that type of, you know, material on you, Mr. O'Connor. Uh, that's right. All right, thank you. <laughs> okay. Well. It's really, it's just a question of uh, two things, civility. You yeah. know, we, we need a little more manners. Yeah, we do. I think. I think the city. Uh, you know, we were we we're very impersonal, and um, I don't think uh, people really take into consideration other people's feelings. So uh, to hear people cursing like that, I, I believe I've always thought it uh, it rude. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, some of these suggestions for uh, replacement words, I think, gets the point across. But like you said, civility. Yeah, it is, and I'm not totally opposed to swearing. I mean, it's, it oh. happens. Uh, it, it's part of our language. It's one way we communicate, but uh, it really doesn't do that much good. You, you can you can get by without doing it. Yeah, absolutely. Once, once in a while, it, you know, someone makes you mad or you get impatient, it, it just flies out of your mouth. But, what, are, what are some of the replacement words you, you suggest? Well, you know, you can use any word you want because, you know, most of us have replacement words. Uh, uh, you know, you're in a situation where you know you can't swear. It's just totally unacceptable. So you, you say shoot. You say darn it. You say nuts. You know, you just say whatever it is. Mm. But uh, like the F word, mm, everyone knows you use the F word. And, you yeah. know, fudge doesn't work. Uh, I, I admit to that. But it's when you, everyone's always effing everything up instead of bungling it up or botching it up or messing it up. Uh, it's just a crass word that's getting worn out. Yeah. Well, uh, um, I know you have uh, shoot for the S word, uh, bungled instead of the F word. Yeah. Or F effed up. Uh, it should well, be bungled. Well, the whole point is like uh, another one is uh, that's a bunch of balderdash or that's hogwash or that's uh, hogwash. Yeah. Hogwash nonsense, rubbish. These are some of the classics. Uh, yeah. I, I want to be very careful how I say this, uh, but is there one for um, you know uh, when you call someone a uh, a D? Uh, yeah, you can say jerk, you know, say you're, uh, uh um, uh, uh, you know, one of my favorite words is, is, uh, I, you know, uh, we can't think of it right now. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, uh, uh, what's the monster up on the building? So, <laughs> oh, the, uh, that, that, gargoyle, that, gargoyle. yeah, the gargoyle. gargoyle. Yeah, yeah. It's a funny word. I think gargoyle is a funny word, and it's, mm-hmm. uh, you know, if you know what an argo- gargoyle is, it is a kind of a creepy looking creature. And, you know, if you call someone a gargoyle, you're less likely to get punched in the face. So, so what, instead of uh, calling them like an A? Yeah. Or, a, or an A-hole? Yeah. So you think uh, a gargoyle is that ugly, I guess, huh? Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and it just, uh, you know, it, it gets the message across without being too uh, outrageous. I like just, using the word clump. Yeah, clump is a good one. That's a good one. Uh, Jim, uh, we started talking about this about 15, 20 minutes ago when it was brought to our attention. That's why we had to search you out. The phones are lit, my friend. Is that right? Yes, let's say hi to um, Steve from Yellowstone. Hello. Steve. Hello, is this Mr. O'Connor? Yes. Hi, how are you? I'm, I'm really enjoying the discussion. Good. I find that there's far too much uh, profanity used in daily life. But I, I was wondering, like, a lot of my, my, my friends will curse because they try to, like, navigate my website, and they can't because it's so poorly done. What do I do if I have... Change your website. A lot of friends cursing. They're cursing on how are they cursing on your website. But by? just no, no. I mean, like, <laughs> uh, Steve, what do you mean? We, yeah. In general, they're cursing, and it's very difficult. 
Are they on the phone with you? Are they? Huh. Yes. I, I, first words. Steve, I, we're I look- ask my friends mm-hmm. not to use that type of language around me because they're going. They're going to laugh at me. Oh, okay. They're going to laugh at you. Yeah, or or just think I'd be disrespectful. I don't know what to do. Well, just uh, ask them to be a little more polite if they. Go- Ramon! Hogwash is what Jim does in the tub after he abuses the gargoyle of a fat girl. <laughs> Ramon! Jim O'Connor's mother started a video called Two Girls, One Cup of Bolsheviks. <laughs> Ramon! The next time he's on the subway, he should be given a lesson by Bernhard Getz. Boy, he's a very upset man. Oh my goodness, sir, uh, Jim! I apologize. A lot of, a lot of times we get callers like that. That, uh, you know, he's a very unhappy. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, for the last, of course, he's going for the last. But yeah, I think he, I think he was. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Um, uh, there was something else I wanted to ask you about this, uh, the, this uh, cussing. You got, a, you got a book or something there, Jim? Yeah, cuss control. It's a complete book on how to curb your cursing. Okay. Not mm-hmm. how to stop, but how to curb it, how to control it, how to be more civilized. You know, see, the thing is, when you allow yourself to get upset, you just, yeah. you, you know, you think it feels good. Yeah. It, it, it only, help, it doesn't help that much. It's better it, just to deal with stuff the best you can. You can't do it all the time. All right, let's take another phone call. We got Paul from uh, Tottsville. Uh, Paul. Hello. Hi, Paul. You're on with Jim O'Connor. Yeah, uh, I'm a teacher. I teach grade school, and uh, it's so difficult to uh, to get the kids to talk right. I mean, when when you you, you, you mention that to them, they they uh, start to think you're like an old fuddy buddy. Yeah, well, the you kids, know, it's very difficult to uh, ask them. I'm sure it is. The kids are growing up in a cursing culture. They're probably even hearing yeah, it from their what, parents. What do you what do you do to keep them from doing that and to keep them from tat women things like that? Well, you say, well, did you... Ramon! Jim O'Connor is a balder douche! <laughs> Ramon! I'd like to kick this fruit right in the clump! Ramon! Jim O'Connor has to be taken to the emergency room to have a trophy removed from his gargoyle! I can't Ramon! After a date, Jim O'Connor has a load of shoot on his clutch. The same joke twice, this doesn't work, guys. Ramon! Jim O'Connor should bungle his mother in the dark. You know, when you yell like that, he can't even understand what, he, what you're saying. Yeah, I know. He, uh... That's the same joke twice. Uh, same I know. Guys. You guys gotta be more original. Same guy. Uh... I no, I apologize. Sometimes they they get through twice like that through the screen or using a different voice. Uh, I think he was Mr. Voice. O'Connor. Yeah. Well, so I think from the other side of the studio. Yeah. Mm. That's a shame. Well, it kind of ruined the whole uh, Jeez, experience. Yeah. I'm thinking. Whole vibe. So, All right. As well, long as you guys are having fun, you know. Sometimes yeah. swearing is fun. Sometimes it's funny. Well, sometimes. Yeah, you know, the worst is when you swear at somebody, and that's what he's doing. So that's kind of crude, but yeah, yeah that, that is that. It, that no lips that to God's ears. Wait, uh, uh, you th- he was cursing on you. You think? It was hard to tell. This, the sound was very bad, but yes, yeah. I have a hunch that's what he was doing. Yeah, yeah. That would be. What do you think? No, because we're not allowed to have curses on uh, the radio. So. I hope he didn't. I didn't hear any. Uh, hope it didn't go through. I don't have very many listeners, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. We don't? Yeah. Well, we yeah. don't hurt feelings. <clears throat> why, why are you taking that out on us? Because yeah. the phone screener didn't know what he was doing. Somehow I get the feeling it's an in-studio call. Really? How, how is that possible? Well, you know, I've uh, been on the radio before. I know how it works. Really? Yeah, I say you got to be original. Do you, you cunt? <laughs> 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 I gotta get to work. Thanks for calling. Uh, yeah. I bet you do. I hope you. I hope a uh, man comes and removes your hat. <laughs> <laughs> hope you get a mouthful of potato flakes at work. You silly goose. <laughs> oh, ladybugs, ladybugs, ladybugs. And see, fly away home.
I forgot your the rest house of it. is on fire and your children are burning or something. You fucking whore. <laughs> yeah, exactly, lady bug. <laughs> and left them alone in the house, you fucking <laughs> drunken cunt. Yeah. Stop flashing your bug cunt all over town. <laughs> 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 fucking black yeah, beetles. Care for, your, care, care for all the kids that are tumbling out of your bush, you <laughs> exactly. super whore. Get off your shelf for five minutes, you hole. <laughs> and fucking clean the ladybug <laughs> toilet. You <laughs> fucking... <laughs> Hey, Jimmy, like that. you want to play the game? You've never played uh, Grand Theft Auto. Oh, I'm a little nervous. Would you like to play it? <laughs> Would you like to play in front of everybody? Give him a quick uh, Laszlo, thing on how to beat someone over the head with a bat. Lazo, explain what uh, Jimmy's going to attempt to do here. Jimmy, well, right uh, now, uh, Nico is the uh, character that you play, the gentleman from Eastern Europe who shows up on the shores of uh, Liberty City. Um, right now, Jimmy's got him standing, uh, looks like... Near Times Square, the game which we call uh, Star Junction. <laughs> he's instantly. I think look, he's got he's got a gun out. He already has a gun. <laughs> he's already. He's just pointing at pedestrians and who are not running away. away. He doesn't know how to putting shoot their yet. hands up. And not shooting. He, He's, Die. <laughs> he's targeting. He's targeting people, and they're running away. But he doesn't know how to shoot him. Oh, there oh, he goes, Timmy. Oh, how do I run after him? You just shot a. An oh, he's getting, he's getting up. He's getting up. No, he's not. <laughs> Jimmy's killing people. Right in the fucking mouth, I shot him. <laughs> oh well, this is a dangerous game for Jimmy. Right, Jimmy's just he can, he can fucking shooting. How do I run people. faster? This guy's slow. Press A. Oh God. Press or tap the A button. What's A mean? It means walk. A is the button. Uh, tap it. I'm just. Oh, there he goes. All right, there you go. Jimmy's uh, getting the hang. Right. Yeah. He's getting the hang out of. Oh, he likes to run right away. Why running in like. Um, why don't you give him the rocket launcher, Sean? I think he would. Oh, hold on. Excuse me. Oh, he's gonna. Uh, oh wait, no, no, where am I going? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> how do I how do I target him? There we go. There you go. Fuck you. Oh, <laughs> he, just, oh, he just nailed two people. Wasting people. <laughs> uh, we're gonna be talking to uh, Daniel uh, Daniel Mar. <laughs> Daniel Mar. Mar. Now what is this book about? I I just I it, don't do. <laughs> this is kind of crazy. This is like this is this is this is terrific. I'm 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 proud that uh, we got him on today. It's uh, it's vocabulary. 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 Everyone. Brocabulary. The new yes. manifesto. Yes. So it says manifesto of dude talk. Yes. Oh, he See, can't it's hear a, us right now. It's vocabulary. Right. So, uh, like like I open this up and I see. A brologue. Oh boy! It's like yeah. the brologue is mm -hmm. instead of a prologue. Sure. It's called a brologue. Well, of course. Uh, uh, other things like bromunication. <laughs> yep. It's like communication, but uh, the way uh, guys do it. Bro, sure. it's like a guys thing. Sure. You know <laughs> how great is that? Because we've all, uh, you know, we all love talking like this. Yeah. Guys. It, it gets you the chicks. A manicdote. Yeah. Well. Instead of an anecdote. Yeah. You know things like that. What about and then you and then we get into some of the v vocabulary like uh, <laughs> like Harry Olis. <laughs> we got no. let's get him on the phone because it's communication. Brutal recall. Well, we got to <coughs> we got to talk to uh, Daniel Moore. We're gonna learn about mantis. Look at this. Like, hold on. We're gonna I, learn about MC Hammered. Dude, I Round gotta tell hog. you this. What? Brodal recall yeah, is well. a bro's recall for what you did last night while hit shammered. Like hit shammered. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is, uh, I'm actually looking at the ten, the ten bro manments. Yeah. The ten bro manments. Um, where, can we get them on the phone? Or we are. We're just setting it Cock up. Cock-a-doodle brew. Because I got... Cockadoodle brew. That's a beer that you uh, drink first thing in the morning. <laughs> what are what are the, what are these cards like? What are these called? Where you have like the word and then the answer on the back. What are they called? Flashcards. Like kind of flashcards. We're gonna learn yeah. about community chest or chance. <laughs> right. We're gonna learn about uh, manalize. <laughs> oh, when you manalize something. Uh, a guy brewery. Uh, oh, damn this stupid fucking Jersey girl talk audio. Punxsutawney Jill. We're going to learn what that means in vocabulary. Oh, oh, that's fine. <laughs> well, yeah. it's when, when a groundhog comes out of its hole and burns the other groundhog's <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, a master date. <laughs> oh, 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 good gravy. Oh, this is great. And a PDA hole. <laughs> uh, oh, God. Let's talk to Daniel Maurer. Yes, uh, author of vocabulary. Yes. A new manifesto of dude talk. That's right, Daniel. Hey, how's it going? Good. Hey, Welcome to the right. Opie and Anthony show. 
Good to be here. Uh, we were uh, going through your your book, Brocabulary, the yeah. new manifesto of do talk. That's right. And uh, how did this come about, there, Daniel? Let's start with the uh, the base. Yeah, what was the inspiration? Sure. Well, the inspiration actually, I was at um, what I would call a douche donation. Which is really, <laughs> What's that? Really You're... douchey, like bars and clubs. And I was actually, I was standing next to a shower girl, this girl that you know, washing in the shower. Yeah. Um, that's how douchey it was. And a guy, this guy called me a bromo. I actually uh, hadn't heard that one before. A bromo? What's a bromo? For bros who are so tight, they're almost homo. <laughs> and um, I started trying it out on friends of mine, and people were, were you know kind of found it pretty hilarious. So yeah. um, I realized there was something to this uh, dynamic, you know, this uh, this dynamic. phenomenon of bros or, or what I would call guy-me's twins who are constantly attached <laughs> and, Jesus. and kind of are oh, attached to the liver guy who are always, uh, you know, mm -hmm, drinking mm -hmm. together and, and go everywhere together. So, you know, I thought it would be cool to make up a, a kind of vocabulary for them that they could use when they're broing down. Yeah. Right. Bro, bro down. What, what's a, when you're broing down? <laughs> Well, when you're broing it up, when you're when you're with your bros and, and drinking and you know at the strip club, that sort of thing. I think you got a hit on your uh, hands here, Daniel. Well, I got, I couldn't get past the ten bro commandments. It's like commandments, but for bros. Exactly. Number one, I am your bro. Thou shalt not put hoes before me. <laughs> ah, um, bros before hoes has been something that's been said for a long time. That's true. That's, that's, oh, yeah, yeah. Number I actually two, have a spin on no, that, though. Oh? I mean, it is, obviously, that's kind of, you know, that's kind of unreasonable. That's not going to happen in real life. And it's okay to ditch for a bitch as, ah. long, as, you, as long as you have a galibi. And a galibi is... A galibi. What's a galibi? Is that like, what is that? It's like an alibi oh. for not, the, an explanation for why you weren't with your bros. And it should never be romantic. It should never be chivalrous. You know, mm -hmm. it shouldn't be about getting a girl flowers. It should be about deflowering a girl. Right. You know, that, is, um, that is a proper galibi. Nice. And, and your bros should understand that. You know, exactly. the, the bros before hoes can go out the window if you've got a good uh, a, a galibi. Exactly. All right. So I'd just like to understand. Because I like larger vages. Do you have anything like about clits or anything ah, like that? Yeah. Ah, uh, there is. Yeah. Like a clitoris is like a clit that belongs on a dinosaurus. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's pretty good. Because Jimmy likes the big ones. He likes the big ones. Yeah. Yeah. Anything I like, like, a, like, a, like an there's, a, there's like the clitiate who doesn't know his way around. Oh, the pussy. <laughs> a clitiate. I like that. All right. I like that. God, you have a million of them. You have There's anything? A, yeah, I guess there would be clidiosyncrasies. Uh, yeah. Maybe I'll save that for the. Uh, yeah, yeah. When, when you're not the filming movies. <laughs> you should write something about like uh, the smell under the hood. <laughs> hey, you yeah. got anything on the shitter? <laughs> There's an entire chapter of shitter chatter. Oh, shitter, shitter chatter. chatter? Exactly. Shitter chatter. Shitter oh, chatter. Okay. That's, that's not too much of like shitter that's chatter. Like when you <laughs> overpopulate the bowl, when the bowl is uh, overpopulated. It oh, when she says she's gonna, she hasn't taken a suppository, and she has, the next thing you know, it's all over your chest. <laughs> And then you got to pay her. <laughs> uh, believe me, she's not even the Russian that was in the ad. Like, Excuse me, madam, you put wet hay on my shit. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, someone spilled goulash on my chest. I'm paying for a solid log here. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> excuse me, miss. I don't want to pay for fucking jerk chicken all over my fucking chin and neck. <laughs> uh, what about uh, you got blocabulary? Now, this is good because, you know, us guys, we like the we like the blow job. Is that right? what you do when you're out with your friend Cabulary? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that could be good for the second book, sir. Uh, what's some of the blocabulary you like? Blow vocabulary. Um, well, there's the blow job obligation when you do a um, when you do a favor for a girl. You you help her move or something. You change her tire, and she owes you a blow job. She's blow job obligated. To you. Oh, blow oh, job nice. obligated. That's, very clever. That's great. Yeah. Is that like when you drive someone like far from home, and you say uh, "suck it" or you're gonna walk, or or you're gonna end up in a shallow grave? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> not quite. I wouldn't take it that far. What's, oh, of course, saving not. your life with a sucking. That's called. <laughs> you want to you want to explain uh, chaps dick. <laughs> Uh, chapstick. What I like to put in my mouth. <laughs> a, a, a chapstick is a. a, a oh, come on. Chapstick. I like this one, catheter. Yeah, we're all going Someone who's a worse than a pain in the ass, they're a pain in the dick. Yeah. Uh, you could also call them penile cancer. <laughs>